Okay, welcome to the latest uh, episode of the Keeping It Business podcast. Uh, we've been reading in the book club, the Business Growth Academy book club, we've been reading uh, Anthony Robbins or Tony Robbins' Awaken the Giant Within. Now, uh, what for me, um, it is, it's been a fascinating book in, in so many, I'm going to read some some of the things that have, have really sort of like um, pushed my thinking and uh, and got me reflecting. And when we reflect, we gain insight. When we gain insight, we get actions um, to uh, take us forward. And some of these things have really uh, got me thinking uh, in particular um, around all manner of stuff. There's things in here that I can help my daughter with uh, from a mental health point of view. So I'm going to go through that with her. I'm going to come back and reread some of them. But it is, uh, how can I say, Tony's probably taken 5,000 words to explain 10. Um, but there are some uh, brilliant extracts in it, um, which I'm going to run through, um, particularly from a business point of view and focusing on your business and and uh, helping you question those powerful questions. Uh, I did uh, uh, an extract or, or I did a post uh, recently on social media around uh, uh, shaping your life with action uh, and uh, powerful questions help to do that. Uh, they differentiate us uh, and get into that habit of, of, of asking powerful questions in, every, in, in any situation, personal business, uh, relationships, whatever it is. Um, so again, here, three decisions that you make every moment of your life control your destiny. These three decisions determine what you'll notice, how you'll feel, what you'll do, and ultimately what you will contribute and who you become. If you don't control these three decisions, you simply aren't in control of your life. What do you control them? Uh, when you do control them, sorry, you begin to sculpt your experience. These three decisions that control your destiny are one your decisions about what to focus on, two, your decisions about what things mean to you, and three, your decisions about what to do to create the results you desire. You see, it's not what's happening to you now or what's happened in the past, in your past that determines who you become. Rather, it's your decisions about what to focus on, what things mean to you, and what you're going to do about them that will determine your ultimate destiny. You know, so three, you know, great questions from that point of, you know, from uh, uh, just a very short extract at the beginning of the book there. Again, in order to succeed, you must have a long term focus. Most of the challenges that we have in our personal lives, like indulging constantly in overeating, drinking or smoking to feeling overwhelmed and giving up on our dreams come from a short term focus. Success and failure are not overnight experiences. It's all the small decisions along the way that cause people to fail. Uh, it's failure to follow up. It's failure to take action. It's failure to persist. It's failure to manage our mental and emotional states. It's failure to control what we focus on. Conversely, success is the result of making small decisions, deciding to hold yourself to a higher standard, deciding to contribute, deciding to feed your mind rather than allowing the environment to control you. These small decisions create the life experience we, all, we call success. No individual organization that has, been, has become successful has done so without short-term focus. As a society, we're so focused on instantaneous gratification that our short-term solutions often become long-term problems. Our kids have trouble paying attention in school long enough to think, memorize, and learn partly because they become addicted to instantaneous gratification. Um, think around Google, om omnipotent Google, Google, you know, we want, and that goes for adults now, I'm not just talking about children, in the, in the book is talking about children or, or focusing on children as an example, but this is the same for us as adults. We, uh, we you know, we, we, get, we turn to Google straight away, you know, for, for whatever information, it's not around keeping it logged in your memory now, remembering stuff, because we can just switch on a tablet, switch on a phone, switch on a PC, get access to it. Now, there are questions around saying, well, is some of it right or wrong? Uh, are facts and that side missing in, in um, some of the, uh, the media and the coverage that we see around it? Um, so you've got to do the due diligence on that now as well. I do think that will become, uh, in 2021, become a focus uh, around making sure that the the facts are facts and there's no uh, fake news as to say again remember too that it's not actual pain that drives us but our fear that something will lead to pain and it's not actual pleasure that drives us but our belief our sense of certainty that somehow taking a certain action will lead to pleasure we're not driven by the reality 
we're uh, by our uh, uh, perception of reality most people focus on how to avoid pain and gain pleasure in the short term and thereby create long-term pain for themselves uh, that i think is very very true remember anything you want that's valuable requires that you break through some short-term pain in order to gain long-term pleasure as he says here if you want a great body you've got to sculpt the body which requires breaking through short-term pain that's the same with anything within business uh from business point of view and a personal uh, development point of view we have to break through that or have to take that short-term pain what we tend to do is shy away from it uh procrastinate and you know move or you know do everything we can into de delaying that action whereas we need to because we're not we don't want that pain we've got to take that um and we've got to shift through it because we want that long-term um, success that long-term pleasure uh, again quick one here it's not the events of our lives that shape us but our beliefs as to what those events mean again there's a deeper meaning on that side another one here i realize that the main difference between people who seem to be successful in any area and those who weren't was that successful people asked better questions and as a result they get better answers they got better answers that empowered them to know exactly what to do in any situation to produce the results they desired. Quality questions create a quality life. You need to burn these ideas into your brain because it's as, as important as anything else you'll learn in this book. Businesses succeed when those who make the decisions that control their destiny ask the right questions about markets or strategies or product lines. And that's one thing that I really do believe in, shape your life, uh, shape your life with action. Uh, something that's come out of this book that I've read. Um, you know, ask yourself powerful uh, questions. Uh, everybody else that's in the same situation, if we ask the same questions as everybody else in the same situations, we're not differentiating us. So we've got to really get down into asking ourselves those powerful questions to shift us into uh, those uh, powerful actions and then taking a step towards those actions. Um, questions set off a processional effect that has an impact beyond our imagination. Questioning our limitations is what tears down the walls in life, in business, in relationships between countries. I believe all human progress is preceded by new questions. Uh, absolutely. And there's a, there's a quote here by uh, George Bernard Shaw. Some men see things as they are and say, why? I dream of things that were, never were and say, why not? Next one. Uh, where is it? I think it's some problem solving questions. Yes. So again, problem solving questions, you know, asking yourself these, these questions, uh, some nice simple ones here. What is great about this problem? So if I've got a problem, what is great about this problem? Uh, what is not perfect yet? What am I willing to do to make it the way I want it? What am I willing to no longer do in order to make the way uh, I want it? How can I enjoy the process while I do what is necessary to make it the way I want it? Uh, too often we uh, get into that negative thought process and go down that spiral of negative thought, whereas switching some of the, uh, putting a different context on it and, put, and switching the, the questions have a, a different or will drive a different outcome. And one of the things around that is as well is when we make a decision, once we've made that decision, uh, take a first step in towards the action so do something towards the action so you made a decision once you've made that decision take a make a small step at that point you've made the decision to to uh, make a commitment so it'll it'll drive a commitment so it could be as easy as uh, having an action sheet and writing down the first step or writing down the action to the first step and putting a day date and the time on it that you're going to deliver it um, and again it's that commitment um, so again you know there are things i will come back and read uh, again on this in particular with support from my daughter on uh, action signals and 10 emotions of power um it is a good book um you know I, i'd probably give it th three stars for me for from this uh, uh, from my side because i think it is you know five thousand words to explain 10 but if you if you get through that um you will get something out of it. There's no two ways about it. It will help reflect. And from a business perspective, we need to reflect. If you're not taking time ref to reflect, you need to plan that in because reflection, as I say, gains insight. When we ask those tough questions, when we ask those powerful questions of ourselves, we get our powerful actions uh, and it shifts us forward and it differentiates us, it differentiates us as well in another way. 
Um, so again, this is the uh, Keeping It Business podcast, just doing a quick overview uh, and quick extracts out of the book that really resonated with me uh, on Awaken the Giant with Tony Robbins. Um, I think I will come back and, and read, uh, as I said, some of it again. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>